Hi, I'm Raya. And I'm Brandon. And you're watching. I'm in love with R&B. And we interrupt our regularly scheduled programming. Of course. Because y'all already know. <laughs> already know. You already know. We have <clears throat> some observations that we'd like to share with you. Absolutely. Um, No judgment. Nope. We're not going to judge. No. We just want to share some observations because we are a, ma a marriage channel. Exactly. And we want to talk about the marriage scenario situation that happened on live television. Yes. Between Will and Jada Smith. And Chris Rock, because he is a part of this. Yes. So, um, we don't want to negatively judge. We will be observing. As it's we just say, an observation. But no negative judgment here. No. So... We don't really need to recap what happened no. because unless you have been living under a rock, you already know what happened. And if you don't, just YouTube Will Smith and Chris Rock and then you should be fine. Just click on any one of those. Yeah. So basically we want to just make just a few, not even a lot, like a, just like a couple of observations from yes. a marriage point of view. Absolutely. About what we saw live mm. on that mm. on that night, okay? <laughs> mm. Okay. All right. So the first thing that I saw, the very first thing that I saw was that Will and Jada were not on the same page at first. This is correct. Okay. So Will had been cracking up all night. That's what I noticed. He I was so laughing at every joke. Yep. Including the jokes that Chris Rock was making. Exactly. So when Chris Rock started making jokes about Jada, he was like, ha, 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 slapping legs. I mean, he wasn't slapping his legs, but I get what you were saying. He was... He, he was laughing. He was laughing like everything else. He was laughing like everything else until he looked over at Jada. Right. And so here's my, here's my obser observation on that. So Will Smith is has has often said how he's felt like, you know, he's always under a microscope. He's always being viewed, judged or whatever. And so I felt like and this is this is not me definitely not excusing his behavior. We're going to get to that. But I felt like in the moment he was on Will Smith autopilot like. I'm at an award show. Everybody knows at an award show. You <laughs> have you ever seen Will Smith laugh and you're like, he can't possibly think that was funny. But he's just being the him, jovial. The jovial, like, oh, oh, that's crazy. It's like that whole like you just feel like he I'm like, bro, you know that wasn't funny, but he's just being who he is. And so I felt like this was just another thing where he was just on celebrity autopilot where Somebody crack a joke about, oh, Jada joke, okay, oh. He was probably expecting some August Alcina jokes tonight, too, or that night. Who knows? Like, I just felt like, yes, you're right. They weren't on the same page. And I think part of that is because at that moment, he was in that autopilot, laugh at everything, be funny Will Smith expect that everybody the expects words. You. Just expect the words, sure. laugh it off. Until he looked at his wife, though, realized that she was not laughing. Oh, she wasn't having it. And then, here's what, here's the point I want to make, though. Y'all ready? They're ready? Get ready. They're ready. When he saw that she was not laughing, he got on her page. Mm -hmm. Did y'all, did I catch that? Mm -hmm. He stopped <laughs> laughing and he got on her page. And that's, that's the point that I want to make right here tonight mm -hmm. or today or whenever y'all watching Pretty much. because there's a lot of times in marriages where you're not going to be on the same page for sure you're two different people the things that's funny to me is not funny to him the things that are a big deal to me are not going to be a big deal to him however you guys are going to have to get on the same page so there's times where Brandon would come to me about stuff that's stressing him out around the house or whatever. And I'm like, that's not a big deal to me. But if it's a big deal to him, then it's a big deal to me. And so I'm like, babe, psh, 
that's a big deal. Like, what are we going to do? <laughs> and Yo, she'll do it just like that. But I mean, we got to handle it. Like, what are we right. going to do? Like, let's make a plan. Right. Like, you and know? vice versa. There, is it vice versa or vice versa? It doesn't matter. Because there's times, like, you know, in flipping it, vice yes. versa. There's times where she'll say, like, hey, I think we need to talk about X, Y, and Z. I'm like, that does not require a conversation. It's not that big of a deal but to But it's me. a big deal but to But it's me. a big deal to her. And so that's what you mean, right? Like being exactly. on the same page. We got, if it's a big deal to me, then it's a big deal to you. Absolutely. And so we're going to make it, I, like we need to get on the same page. Will was cracking up until he saw his wife. And then he's like, uh-uh, it's a big deal to me now. And it's as much of a big deal to like, I feel your pain. So much so that he did something that most people might not agree with. Mm -hmm. But he dealt with it the way he felt like he needed to deal with. Yeah. And that, that's marriage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's marriage. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so our second observation was that he used the violence to defend his wife in a situation that was not violent. Yeah. So I had issues with this just as a man and it's like, I'm gonna start with this. There are a lot of men who are just naturally aggressive men. I think boys are kind of raised to be like overly masculine at times and not even really know how to tap into how they feel. They're just taught, you know, respond with aggression. Especially when you get into sports. I ain't even gonna lie, I got that. I was taught to respond, like get mad, get angry and you know, whatever. <laughs> and so that's how some of us are raised. And I, so I get all that. However, um, this was not a violent attack against his wife. Mm -hmm. This was not a physical altercation with his wife. And here's how I can say that. Every man, and I've shared this with you some years ago, every man, I don't care what your stature is. I don't care if you're 6'9", 260 pounds, or you're like 5'2", 102 pounds. <laughs> as a man, I don't care who you are. As a, as a decent stand-up man, if anybody touches your wife, you will lose it you will turn into the incredible hulk and they will have to use the jaws of life to pry you off of somebody because men we like i don't play that like you can talk you know i've had we've been out and guys have like you know we're back in our younger days oh, good guys have tried to holler at my wife and all that and stuff and it's like i know better than to to like approach if need like i don't need to do we all have a that. video on that by the we way. do have a video on that yeah when we tell that story <laughs> like i don't have to do all that but it's like, if you touch my wife, I can't even talk about it because I just get all, like, I'm not a big dude, but I will, it doesn't matter. But men out there know what I'm talking about. Try to live your life in like this peaceful state, laid back, cool, calm, whatever. And just kind of add, I'm thinking that maybe Will is trying to be that guy. Like, but this, while I understand if this was a physical situation, it wasn't. And so I just think he took the wrong approach to addressing it and to dealing with mean, it's Chris Rock man he's a you know he's a little guy he's just a you know comedian like he used violence against someone that he's bigger than to make a point and I mean that you know but either way I don't think he should have used violence to defend his wife in a situation that was not violent now if Chris Rock would have walked up to her and like rubbed her head oh that's the difference Boy! You see what I'm saying? I, it's not even my wife. And if I just, <laughs> ooh, listen, listen, listen. I don't care what man you are, race, color, creed, any of all, any of any of that. If a man puts his hands on your wife, it's a wrap, son. So, yeah. yes, you should not use violence though in a situation that is not violent. There's too many men out here. I mean, you can speak on this, and you know. But there's too many men out here going to jail, getting in fights, getting all this, all this stuff because you getting physical with somebody who just used words because you don't have self-control. Yes, and this is def this is definitely just our observation. We are not trying to negatively judge 
Will and Jada, what we do want to say is we have no idea what happened um, between Chris Rock and the Smiths. We don't know if this is um, because a lot of other things have escalated between these two that have caused them to in the past, yeah, yeah to reach this point where Will was like enough is enough you have talked about my wife way too much and I feel like now the only thing I can resort to is violence we have no idea and so we don't want to um presuppose like I have no idea yeah, okay for sure um but what we are saying is that at least in our home violence is not the answer right. um in order for my husband to defend me or in order for my husband to protect me i need him to come home which means he's not in jail <laughs> i need him to come home alive and i need him to come him to come home with his job intact because will could lose his life because there's been there's been people who got shot up for less okay he could lose endorsements he oh, could be yeah. fine and i don't know if y'all caught at the end after um will did his whole acceptance speech what did will say he said academy i hope y'all invite me back because they might not they might do y'all understand yeah all the all the grief they was given the awards back in like a few years ago with the oscar so white thing and the whole boycott the oscars so and i'm not trying to judge i'm not trying to judge not at all, not at will all. is a, an amazing oh actor God. and he deserved the award that he won and my thing is i feel like men protect their wives better when they are at home Present. providing for them and safe and healthy like that is how you provide for them right. if you are dead or in jail or right. what like you can't protect so, them right so i agree i think there's definitely and this is fine we can go to the next one but unfortunately there's going to be people and i know because i've talked to a lot of men there's going to be people on both sides of that fence yeah where they feel like nah yo like if something happened to me while i'm defending my family then at least my wife and my kids know that i went out like and i'm like mm -hmm. But you went out, so like, so they're no so, longer protected. Right. So it's <laughs> like, like I, but I, it's like I kind of get the honor. Thing. I mean, just as a man, I kind of get the honor thing. But I think wisdom shows you how you can do that, um, so that you can be present for your children and your wife. And it's funny because a lot of times when you see that happen, especially in movies, and I forget which what show it was, but it was like, um, oh, it was it was a movie. It was a, uh, it was a uh, my cousin Vinny. Where, the, where he was talking about, he said, Stan said something to, you know, Ralph Macho's character was like, but what if you died? Don't you think she would be like sadder if you died? Thanks. Like, don't you think she would want you here? And I appreciate that. But should you die for that? Wouldn't your mother be more upset if you die? And so I feel like that's kind of the same vein where it's like, you should want to be able to protect and provide for and so i just think being wise in certain situations is probably the difference between doing something in the moment in the heat of the moment or waiting yeah so yeah so our last point is that you shouldn't judge like negatively judge will and jada's marriage and i've touched on this a little bit mm -hmm. we just don't know what's going on behind the scenes they have been very public <laughs> about their marriage, but I'm sure even still, we have not seen everything. And that kind of brings me to a very general point. You probably shouldn't judge anyone's marriage in a negative light because you just don't know. You have no idea. You have no idea what's going on. I mean, sure you see what people allow you to see and i do believe that it's good to look and observe because what do we always say do what works for you and if there's something that you can glean from someone else's marriage then great mm -hmm. um but do just that just observe okay yeah and I, th I think another part of that too is like we don't know what's going on in their marriage well <laughs> 
We don't know fully. We don't know all the. We don't know what's going on behind that could have doors. caused some of these things that we see. For sure, and the one and the one thing I'm I'm always very aware of too with Will and Jada is like they be letting people know what they want them to know. Like they do these the red table talks and the interviews and the, you like, know some of that scripted. They tell you what they want you to know, like what they want you to hear, and people run with it. Gossip columns run with it, and then it starts turning into something else. The reality is none of us actually know what actually went down or what goes down in anybody's marriage. So it's one thing for, you know, because they're celebrities, I got to be honest, and I shared this with you earlier, like I almost felt sorry for them because it's like their whole marriage has been a topic of conversation and, and gossip columns. I mean, and no shade, like we're doing it now too, but not so much again to negatively judge them but to use these as kind of teachable moments but it's like man i can't imagine if my marriage was a teachable moment for a bunch of people but that's what being a celebrity is i, I guess know. and it's like that's the way our society has has shaped it that it's okay for us to put these people on these pedestals and say oh well that's the ideal marriage like we don't do that we think hey love your work y'all dope and y'all cool beautiful black family, all that stuff. But these people are not idols. You cannot put people on a pedestal and they're human beings and expect them to not fail you, even in the marriage context. Absolutely. So um, we hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> <laughs> um, and while there may be some things that Will and Jada do that we may not necessarily agree with, we do understand the love and passion that Will had to protect his wife. Absolutely. And that we do agree with. Yeah. So um, we're definitely going to be keeping them in prayer because this is going to be a tough couple of weeks or yeah. months that they have ahead of them. And just real talk, we saw Will issued a statement um, where he did apologize to Chris. Um, I think I w it was like a written statement. I think I would have kind of been... I would have liked it to have been like a video. Like, you boy, you have a YouTube channel, bro, that you always be on. I think it would have been a better look to do it on camera. Like, you slapped him on camera. So, apologize on camera. We'll see what happens in the future. Yeah. Get some time. Yeah. And some people think that, you know, this should be enough. He, maybe Chris Rock says, hey, I apologize too, and I accept your apology. And then it's just kind of over. And if that's the case, cool. But, you know, as we approach it, we're approaching it from the marriage standpoint. And... I will say, like what you said, like the the fact that Will got on the same page with his wife, maybe he snapped out of his autopilot and they they were back on the same page. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll see what Jada felt about this because we still don't know. We have no idea. Maybe there's a red table talk ahead of us. <laughs> we'll see. Where's she gonna talk about it? But we'll see. So. And if. We see, then y'all gonna see. Cause mm. we gonna respond to that one. Just saying. <laughs> but so. anyway, like we said, we hope y'all enjoy. Please comment below what you guys thought about that whole scenario, and yeah. if you guys gleaned anything negative or positive about that in a marriage-related way. Yep. Leave that in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.